Chavez, beams on the llamas, New York City's finest, drug dealer dream, red jag rim shining, four shooters riding in the trucks right behind. Fisk unit, soldier. Fisk unit, soldier. Fisk unit, soldier. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit the sub button, all right? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right? Today's video, today's message is about the Nets, Kevin Durant tree, and why the Lakers and Anthony Davis make the most sense. Okay, so we got to think long term here. When you, when you do a trade like this, right, you got to say, how am I going to maximize value and how can I still maintain competitiveness while I maximize that value? What I'm trying to say is, everybody keeps talking about, oh, well, let's get draft picks like Rudy Gobert. Let's get draft picks and young players. Well, newsflash, that doesn't work because if wherever you, if you send Kevin Durant to Phoenix and they give you four draft, let's say Phoenix gives you three first round picks, right? Because in the NBA, you can't do every year. It has to be every other year, right? So let's say Phoenix gives you 23, 25, 27, right? I'm sorry. How old is Devin Booker again? Kevin Durant got at least three, four good years left. When exactly is Phoenix going to be trash? So when exactly is those Phoenix picks going to be relevant to you? Who cares about the 25th pick in the NBA draft? This ain't the NFL where you can get good players in the 20s. This is the NBA. Who cares? Do you even know who the hell those guys are? Past like the 10th pick. Do you even know who the hell they are? So like I don't understand why people are saying, oh, you got to go to a team that has draft compensation. We need draft picks. For what? When the hell is Phoenix, Miami, when are they going to be trash? When are those picks going to matter? Okay, so I get three first round picks from Phoenix and Miami, right? I'm sorry, Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, they're going to be nice as fuck for the next four years. Phoenix might win a title within the next couple years. So the, the picks ain't going to matter. And then DeAndre Ayton, he's not good. Why do you want him? You can't compete with DeAndre Ayton. They can't give you Bam out of Bayou in Miami. So what you going to complete with Gabe Vincent and Tyler Hero and the corpse of Kyle Lowry? No. You are the Brooklyn Nets. You don't have picks in for the next three seasons because you spent all that on James Harden. You have Ben Simmons. You have Kyrie Irving or Russell Westbrook, whatever. You can't afford to buy them out. We can agree on that. The net, there's no incentive for the Nets to buy them out because they don't have picks. So, the most logical trade is Anthony Davis and the Lakers 2027-29 picks. That makes the most sense because at that point, you're getting another top five player. You're, you're going to compete with Anthony Davis, Ben Simmons, and Russell Westbrook or Kyrie Irving. You will compete with that, okay? Five years from now, LeBron will be, tired, will, will be retired. KD will be retired. And Kyrie can't win shit by himself anyway if he did. Kyrie ain't never make a playoffs by himself. Never. He got m multiple number one overall picks in Cleveland and Boston. He was always hurt. That was Tatum and Brown. And in the Nets, he quit. The year Kevin Durant was rehabbing his ankle, KD, he, Kyrie quit. He's never won anything by himself. So the Lakers are guaranteed to be trash in 2027. That's why they don't want to give you the pick. That's why the Lakers don't want to get rid of Russell Westbrook because they don't they know they're going to be trash in 2027. So you why it makes no sense that you wouldn't call the Lakers. Say give us Anthony Davis, give us those two first round picks at the end of the 20s and let's make a deal. I don't understand why everybody's making this complicated. 
the best player on the market, Anthony Davis. The most valuable draft picks are the Lakers picks five years from now when LeBron and KD are going to be retired. It makes all the sense in the world. I don't understand how you don't do that. Can somebody please come on my comment section and tell me why I'm bugging? Somebody tell me in my comment section and tell me why I'm not making sense right now. Because it's like, if you're if you're Utah, I'll give you another example. So Utah got all these picks from the Timberwolves, right? The Timberwolves are going to win 50 games for the foreseeable future. How valuable are those picks? What did you accomplish? Everybody said, oh, the Timberwolves gave up too much for Rudy Gobert. Who the fuck cares about those picks? If you're going to be a top five seed in the West for the foreseeable future with Cat and Anthony Edwards, and now you got Gobert to make, like, come on, bro. This is not football. Everybody has this warped sense of reality when it comes to draft picks like it's football. And football draft picks matter. They matter. In the NBA, they don't fucking matter. They don't. Unless you a sorry team. Why do you think Cleveland didn't give up that draft pick when LeBron was there in 2018? Why do you think Cleveland kept that pick and turned into Colin Sexton? Because Cleveland knew LeBron was leaving. Cleveland knew that pick will be worth something in 2019 once they bottom out. The, the NBA draft picks are only worth a damn when you stink. If you don't stink, they're not worth it. Why do you think the Spurs just traded DeAndre Murray? Why do you think the, why do you think DeJounte Murray is in Atlanta right now? Because they want to tank and they want to get that f the French version of Giannis who's supposed to be coming out the draft next year. There's some French seven foot two guy who moves like Giannis right now, who everybody wants next season. So it's like, what are we talking about, son? What are we talking about right now? Like I I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. You think the Thunder. You think those Clipper picks are helping the Thunder right now? No. They're not. I just so was like. <sighs> this has nothing to do with me wanting LeBron to win a ring. Nothing to do with that. I'm just speaking from a reality standpoint. If I'm a Nets fan, why well, don't want DeAndre Ayton? I don't want Tyler Hero. I want Anthony Davis. Because Anthony Davis gives me a chance to compete with Giannis. He gives me a chance to compete with Jason Tatum. And guess what? Five years from now, when the Lakers are the worst team in basketball because KD and LeBron are retired, I'm going to get that pick. Can you imagine what the Lakers' 2027 draft pick is going to be worth after LeBron and AD are retired and the Lakers win 10 games? Come on, man. Y'all got to think three steps ahead. In life, you got to think three steps ahead, and that's what I'm doing right now. Somebody come in the comment section and tell me what, tell me what I'm missing. Tell me what I'm missing. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.